I'm still not sure if this is going to work, but I have one of these fans and the bearing, one side was squealing and not spinning like it's supposed to. You can see the discoloration on the shaft and it was just not working right. And the way these are set up is there's a cup in the back and then one of these round things that sits in the cup and then there's this little thing that kind of holds it such that it's centered and then this metal thing that goes over and holds it in so that's that is what this side used to look like well I've always wondered with these things well one I've always wanted to get bearing fans like fans with ball bearings in instead of fans with this crap that is only going to last for so long. So I measured and the only bearings I could find because the shaft is 9.5 millimeters and this outside diameter is basically 28 almost 29 millimeters uh, for this inside section. So, Royal Scooter has 9.5 by 28 millimeter skateboard bearings that are the sealed kind. And it comes in a four pack. And that is the number. So it's 77020 9.5 by 28 bearings from Royal Dirt Scooter. And that's the only thing. I looked all over the place trying to find something that had a 9.5 millimeter shaft. And nowhere had that. Probably That's probably why. Because they people would replace the bearings in their fans. Well, then I decided to... Okay, I have a space around here. How am I going to get that centered? Well, of course, strip of a cereal box. Of course you would think of that, right? Because most people have cardboard from cereal boxes. They throw them away versus using them for stuff like I always do. But, yeah. So one layer of cereal box around pretty much holds that in the center and it holds it decently snug, which is kind of cool. So then the next thing is the problem is the shaft is just slightly smaller or I should say the bearing is not 9.5 it's slightly bigger than 9.5 let's see I can I can cheat and actually figure that out it's 9.52 which is not 9.5 those two tenths make a difference <laughs> When you're trying to get a snug friction fit so it doesn't rattle. So I think what I'm going to try is, and I only did the one side because the one side is the one that had the problem. That way I have the best chance of it maybe working is just replace the one side that was bad and I have more bearings. I can always do this for the other one if it does end up having an issue. So I figured Loctite fills stuff in. So let's try that. So I'm going to try and put some Loctite in here. As it was, it was spinning, but it was squealing and making some noise. So I think the shaft was spinning in this bearing. That or it wasn't centered enough and it wasn't moving enough because this, this allows this to float slightly. This is not really floating. So that's the other possibility is this isn't quite centered enough and it's causing issues. But first we're going to try, we're going to put some Loctite on the bearing and then when it goes down over here, that will hopefully expand slightly and hold the shaft on there for that 0 0.05 millimeters per side, 0.2 total. So we'll see what happens. Well, good news, bad news on the fan project. The bearing is holding nicely with the Loctite on the shaft. Bad news is, 
as you can see the discoloration on the bearing itself, it was stiff and hard to turn with this end cap on. And I think the reason is this is actually sticking up, whoops, this is actually sticking up and pushing on the inner race where you're only, <laughs> it defeats the purpose if you hold both the outer race and the inner race on a bearing, it won't spin. So I need to clear this off, get rid of the junk in there since that's not really needed anymore, and see about, well, measure first to see if that's the case, but I'm fairly certain that's what the problem is. So then maybe just figure out how to gently somehow remove some of this metal ring uh, back a little bit such that it won't touch the inner, inner bearing race. Because uh, when, that, when that spins, the inside stays still and the outside spins. But if you spin the whole... Yeah, I think that's what the problem is. So I'll have to see if I can figure that out. That'd be so much easier if I had a milling machine, which I don't. All right, well, that worked. It took off an edge. So we got this little remnant from the very top. It managed to completely clog up my Dremel bit. So luckily that was a mostly burned out Dremel bit, but it went from teeth to no teeth for half of it. So I'll have to see if I can fix that. But in any case, that should have reduced the height, which was what was important. It reduced it a bit. So we'll see how that goes, see if it spins better with the bearing. Well, it spins. And as you should be able to hear on the microphone, it's very quiet. Spins on all three modes. The fan is all back together. And now has a bearing in instead of the original crap on the one side. I didn't do the back side because this is a test. The back side seemed fine. But it blows fine. It runs quiet. I think that worked. That's awesome. And I have enough, well, assuming I have to replace the other side of this fan at some point, which I might, I have enough for two total fans with this pack. So that's very cool. A little bit of, <laughs> little, I had to make slightly taller serial cardboard things because as you can see, just slightly taller because after I took whatever that gunka was out, the and reduced the height of the centerpiece there was more distance along the side for the cardboard to go and with the shorter cardboard the bearing was pushing against it and squishing it versus going in beside it and being held properly but just again cereal box everything's a resource everything's a material everything could work for something and now with a nine instead of Spending 45 bucks for a new fan, which I did buy a replacement just as a backup. This was 10 bucks, and you could swap out the bearings in two, two whole fans. So that's very cool. I'm very happy with that. Yeah, that's very, very cool. I am so happy about that.